On Thursday afternoon, I got a phone call from someone by the name of Sharon. She said, we've got three people stranded on the elevator in the north end of Prairie uh, Ridge Manor, and we need someone to get them out. Can you call as soon as possible? Well, she said that my name was Jeff. That's correct. I know someone by the name of Sharon, but I don't have any idea how to repair a elevator. But I told her when I called, I said, hey, but I'll come. I can pray with the people. That must be awful. It's a senior citizen home. That must be awful to be stranded on that elevator. She said, oh, I guess I've got the wrong number. I'll call another Jeff. Well, that's great. So I ended up not going. Who do you call when you're in trouble? The Bible urges us to call upon Jesus. Don't be anxious about anything, it says in Philippians chapter 4. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, let your requests be made known unto God with thanksgiving and the peace of God. Whether you're sitting in an elevator, you've got a different problem. And the peace of God, which transcends all human understanding, will set our hearts and minds on Christ Jesus. Who do you call when you're sitting in an elevator? Call the right person. Who do you call when you're in trouble? Call the right person. That right person is Jesus Christ. He died for you. He wants to hear from you.